Dan, the Huntsville officer who died tonight was the department's first officer that was shot and killed in the line of duty in 12 years. Now, the last officer in Huntsville Police Department that died happened back in 2007 when he was shot and killed while responding to a call. Now, since the start of the year, police chiefs and sheriffs have talked about the trend and steps needed to end gun violence. The violence started as soon as the year did. Two officers were killed in January in Mobile and Birmingham. Birmingham Police Sergeant Waitasha Carter was shot and killed on January 13th after police say him and another undercover officer confronted suspected car burglars. Exactly one week later in Mobile, Officer Sean Tudor was following up on a case when he was shot and killed on January 20th. In May, Auburn officer William Buchner, a 13-year veteran of law enforcement, was shot and killed responding to a domestic violence call. In September, the violence moved to Tuscaloosa. A suspect shot and killed Dornell Cousset when the officer arrived on the scene. And less than two weeks ago, in Lowndes County, Sheriff William Johnson, known across the state as Big John, was killed responding to a call just outside of Montgomery. An 18-year-old is now charged with capital murder in his death. In all five cases, each suspect was charged with capital murder. And now tonight, law enforcement reiterated how officers put their life on the line every single day. They go out and do their duty, but it's important to know that they are always wanting to protect and support the community. Now, the city of Huntsville is providing counselors and support for all Huntsville officers. Reporting live in Huntsville, Shosh Pedrosian, Way 31 News.